Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel on Feynman Integration. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. We're not going to be solving a specific definite integral today. What we're going to be doing is proving, um, we're going to be deriving a, uh, a new way of writing the factorial function. Uh, so one thing you're going to need to know, um, if you don't already, um, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way down to 2 times 1. For instance, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, or 6. Um, now, the function we're going to derive, um, it allows you to do something neat, which is take, uh, take the factorial of non-integer values such as one half or one third. Um, so I guess I'm going to show you uh, how we get that. So right off the bat, we're just going to create a function of t that's equal to the integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative tx dx. That evaluates to one over t. And for the rest of this video, we're going to write that as t to the negative one because it's, it's much easier uh, to, to work with it that way. Okay, so now that we have that, um, you would agree that if you took the derivative of this function of t right here, it would be equal to the derivative of t to the negative 1. Um, because they're equal, therefore their derivatives are equal. So over here, uh, there it is. The first derivative gives you d dt of the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative tx dx being equal to d dt of t to the negative 1. And I have that written there. Um, what you get, uh, if you use the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign on that first integral right there, you'll get that negative integral 0 to infinity of x to the x times e to the negative tx dx is equal to negative t to the negative 2. So I, can hope you could, I hope you can see how I arrived at that. And now, um, as you can see, these negative signs will cancel. So we'll just be writing that like that. So we've taken the first derivative. Let's keep going. We can take a second derivative, which will give us this, the integral from 0 to infinity of x squared e to the negative tx dx is equal to 2 uh, t to the negative 3. And if we take yet another derivative, we'll find that x cubed e to the, ne uh, the integral, sorry, the integral from 0 to infinity of x cubed e to the negative tx dx is equal to 6t to the negative fourth. And you all probably see the pattern that's happening right now. So let's just jump ahead to the nth derivative. The nth derivative of our function of t will give the following integral from 0 to infinity of x to the n times e to the negative tx dx is equal to n factorial times t to the negative n plus 1. And now to arrive at our uh, final, you know, the punchline of this whole video, all we have to do is take, take this and let t be equal to 1. So for t equals 1, we get the following, that the integral from 0 to infinity x to the n e to the negative x dx is equal to n factorial. And like I said, you know, that's a very messy way of just writing n factorial, but that does allow you to take factorials of fractions like one half or one third or five fourths or pi factorial, e factorial, things like that. Hope you enjoyed that.